Uh, okay, so hi, my name is Amanda. I'm starting my fourth year as a biology PhD student, and I'm in the Wingert lab studying kidney development. And today I'm going to talk to you, it's a little different than everybody else's, but I'm going to talk to you about my personal transformation in leadership, and more specifically, how I've changed my definition of leadership and how I identify with it over the course of the EL STEM program. So starting before the program, uh, most of my leadership experience came from captaining soccer teams. And even though I was a captain on a team ranging from club to college level, I never actually saw myself as a leader. And mostly because I thought that I wasn't very vocal or outgoing and I couldn't just pull an inspirational speech out of my back pocket at a moment's notice, which I thought were all traits that required for being a good leader. Also, before the program, I didn't have any experience mentoring anybody in the lab. Um, and the thought of potentially getting an undergrad was actually really scary to me because I was just finishing my second year and thought that I had so much more to learn and I didn't know all the answers. So trying to teach somebody else was like not in the cards. So naturally, when I got the email invitation, I skimmed it really quickly and deleted it, thinking that like I wasn't who they were looking for for the program. Thankfully, they sent out the invitation again, and this time I actually took more time to read it and looked at the website, read the mission, read the goals, and thought that, or I really liked the theme of developing leadership potential and skills. Because to me, it was the program is more about growth and less about coming in as a leader and just kind of building on what you already have. So, actually, during the application process, I realized that I did have some leadership traits, but I also had some pretty uh, obvious weaknesses, mainly my desire to be independent and hide any vulnerabilities and just remain into like my comfort zone or my safe bubble. And lucky for me, that was pretty much addressed on the very first meeting that we had when John told us the participation-based nature of the program and how we were going to, basically what he said earlier, you get out what you put in. So. However much you want to participate is how much you're going to learn, if you want to share, that kind of stuff. So I made the decision then that I was going to open up and embrace sharing experiences, more importantly sharing failures with people that I really didn't know at the time, which was pretty scary, but I'm glad I did it because over the course of the program, I adopted this, uh, we like to call it just check the box mentality. So normally in situations where I'd be asked to work with a partner and lead a workshop or share a leadership crucible, it would probably give me a lot of anxiety and I wouldn't be looking forward to it. But with this check the box mentality, I just kind of went for it, had like good vibes going in and it all turned out okay in the end. And with that, moving forward, that mentality has actually helped a lot in the lab uh, I've recently taken on an undergraduate mentee who I'm really excited to work with. I helped train an incoming graduate student and helped um, develop a leadership and innovation program for the Notre Dame biology students. But more importantly, I actually identif identify myself as a leader now and I'm actually looking for opportunities to keep growing in the potential and developing as a leader. So thank you. Thank you.